Wow, man, it's been a while since I've just sat down and did a commentary over some gameplay or something like this. Uh, what you guys are watching in the background is some Friday the 13th gameplay, and the reason it's Friday the 13th right now is because I'm going to be talking about something that happened, I, I think it happened today or it happened yesterday. The Xbox One patch for Friday the 13th dropped yesterday. Now, I don't know if this issue that I'm talking about happened today or yesterday when the patch dropped, but it's something that's happened before. Now, not, not necessarily the same thing, but it is the same thing. You, you'll understand what I mean whenever I get into what this is. It, man, it feels weird. It, it feels weird doing this again. I, I do miss just like sitting here and talking and recording. It's just, I, I don't know why I haven't. I think I should do that more. All right, I do. I think I'm, I'm going to do it more. Uh, by the way, I hope you guys like this new overlay that I have. Uh, it's a It's experimental. It's temporary. If you guys like it, then it'll stay, but I've got a few more overlays that I want to show off and see if you guys enjoy seeing it. You'll probably see one in the sh in my streams, you see one, see others in a, in a video. Uh, it just all depends on how I introduce the new overlay. So let me know what you think about this one. Um, hopefully, y'all enjoy it. I mean, I kind of like it. I do, but I like the other ones too, so yeah. Anyways, let's get into what's going on here. So as you're going to see on the screen right here, Alright, what you're going to see is a tweet from June 6th from Friday 13th, the game support. Alright, they're going to, it says, The Savini Jason skin was released by accident on PS4 and they are investigating into how this happened. Right? Okay, that's fine. The Savini Jason skin was released on PS4 for everybody to purchase for $6. Just in case you guys didn't know, $6 was the price that us backers who backed the game and helped get it created paid for the skin. That's what we paid to be able to get it as a pre-order bonus and as a thank you for helping support the game. Okay? So all these people who were able to get it, they had to pay $6. All right? I was a little upset, but I was willing to let it go because they still had to pay for it, right? All right? That made sense to me. That was fair to me. They had to pay for it even though they didn't earn it, even though they didn't back the game, they still got to pay for it. They still had to pay for it. That is what was important to me. But then something else happened. Something else that really ticked me off, that really got me upset. And to this point, I've been completely content and tolerable and understanding and supportive. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm still supportive. I still love these developers. I am still so grateful that they made a game based on such an iconic killer, something we've wanted for so long, all right? Something that we have wanted all our lives a game where you can play as Jason Voorhees all right they finally made it and I'm grateful to that I will always be supportive I will always be understanding but something like this just absolutely eats at me and pisses me off not gonna lie pisses me off so what you're seeing on the screen right here is Caden Belcher tweets to the Friday the 13th game support Twitter, Savini Jason is free on Microsoft.com. To which Friday the 13th game support Twitter responds, Thank you for the heads up. We are aware of this and we are looking into it. Okay? You're looking into it. One, it's free. Free. All they gotta do is go download it. It is listed as a DLC add-on for free. I, I don't, I, I don't get it. I don't have this. I don't, I don't know how this mistake could have been made. I'm, I'm lost for words. I'm tongue tying my words, but I'm, just, I'm upset. I am. I'm pissed. I don't know how this could have happened again, twice, but not even the same way. This time, it's free for Microsoft users. It's free for Xbox One users. It's free, and that. <laughs> that's what really gets me now I, i've got a couple of other twitter slides to show you guys and this next one you're just gonna have, you're gonna have to read it uh you can pause the video here and you can read what's on the screen right now but I, oh I, i'm telling you right now this guy he's frustrated he's upset he's a backer like myself and like most of my friends he is a backer okay this was meant as an exclusive pre-order bonus for us for the people who helped get this game 
created. For the people who put their hard-earned money, their blood, sweat, and tears into this game. Maybe we didn't sit in the development studio and help them develop it. But we made it possible to where they could develop this game. So yes. We're upset. And as you see at the bottom, somebody else backed this up. Now with that being said, you have one of these guys who... I guess was able to get the Savini skin. I don't know. Uh, he was probably upset before, probably pissed off, probably raged a bunch at the developers. And what he has to say, it, it kind of pisses me off even more, right? He had to say, why, why, why? It happened. So what? Nothing can be fixed now. LOL. Well, you know, it happened. So what? Well, the so what is that we were told that this was an exclusive pre-order bonus and then it gets leaked on ps4 for six dollars and then it gets leaked on xbox for free now this this last guy here he, he swoops in and he says he should be upset and has every right to be he along with everyone else that donated helped make this game that you're playing show respect now i'm not asking you to praise us backers i'm not asking you to to, that every time you see us you thank us and say you guys are awesome we love you no 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 no. show a little bit of respect because without backers you wouldn't have this game we would not be playing this game that's the point here it's not the fact that you guys were able to get the Savini skin it's the fact that we were promised that this was a pre-order exclusive for backers only this skin was available for months. Not, you know, no, no. It was available for years. All right, a year. I believe it was available for at least a year. Six months to a year for people to go on there, back the game, pay $6, and be able to get this skin. But instead, it gets leaked twice. Once for $6 and once for free. That's why we're upset. That's why we're mad. It's not because we're butt hurt. Whatever you guys want to say, all the stupid shit that you guys want to say. No, we're not butt hurt. We're upset. All right, because we were promised something, and then it's just like they stabbed us in the back. And and you know, I know maybe it wasn't their fault. Maybe Microsoft and, and Sony did this by accident, or it, who knows how it happened. The point is that it happened. And again, it was promised as a pre-order exclusive for back. It, it just, it just, it rubs me the wrong way. I want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, give me honest opinions. Don't go into into arguments about. Well, you know what? We got it. It doesn't matter. Well, that's 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 not the point. I know you got it. I know there's no use in arguing and complaining over it. I know there's no use in bitching over it. But I want to know what you guys think. Put yourself in our shoes. Put yourself in the backer's shoes. And tell me how you would feel if you were promised an exclusive pre-order bonus for something that you've been waiting for for three years. And then out of nowhere, it's offered to everybody. Think about it like that and get back to me with a response in the comment section below, guys. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I think I'm pretty much topped off here. There's one more slide I want to show you guys from Twitter. It's from my boy, Katie Crowley. Check it out. You guys make sure to go follow him on Twitter. It's at Aiden Sachs Row. All right. So he tweets at Friday 13th the game support and he says, at this point, you guys should just release the Savini skin and use the funds from that to give the backers something exclusive. Perhaps a Kane Hodder counselor skin OP as fuck and can go toe to toe with Jason. Now, I kind of I kind of agree with that. I would love a Kane Hodder counselor. And for those of you who don't know, Kane Hodder played Jason in part seven, part eight, part nine, in part 10 all right and to many he's considered the most iconic Jason the most intimidating Jason all right not not many would agree that he was the best Jason others have their opinion and they're entitled to it but the variety think that Kane Hunter was the best Jason me along with them I, I enjoyed his movies not so much part 9 and part 10 but you know they were still movies that had Jason in them well you know part 9 didn't no screw that Part 9 was not my favorite. Part 7 and Part 8, I loved them. Part 10, okay. Part 9, y y y whatever. I'm getting I'm getting sidetracked here. That happens to me a lot. But what I'm getting at is it would be cool to have him as a counselor. That would be awesome. Give him, like, max stats, but, like, plus 10 on the stats, you know? Pl plus 10 on some, you know? Because Tommy Jarvis has 10 across the board. 
All of his stats are 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 whatever. I'd say make Kane Hunter's stats the same, except like make his strength 10 or 10 points higher, so 20. I, that's that's kind of what I I'm getting. I don't know. It's just it's just beating shit around the bush, thinking out loud, and you know trying to give ideas to Friday the 13th, the game developers. We just we just want to be shown respect for the developers too. That's all it is. You know, we, we helped them make this game. We put in money to this game. You know, myself, I'm not going to lie. I, I am a backer, but I only paid enough to get the game and to get the Savini skin. Because I couldn't spare the money to put any more into it. Alright? So I bought a physical copy and I bought the Savini skin. That cost me $66 for both. Alright? So I put $66 in this game. It may not be a lot to most of you guys, but for the regular hardworking Joe out there, that's plenty. That's a lot. Especially people who got bills. So, with that being said, guys, again, don't start the arguments in the comment section. Don't start arguing with me. I just want to hear your thoughts and opinions. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to know what you think. Again, put yourself in the backer's shoes, okay? Put yourself in our mindset. You were promised something exclusive to you and you alone and then it gets given to everybody once for six dollars again and the next for free for free and let me know what you think about that guys all right i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was kind of all over the place and it's been a while since i've done a commentary like this this is pretty much just like a rant video but I want to thank you guys for listening to it. I want to thank you guys for watching all the way through. I love you all to death. You guys are amazing. And thank you for 1,666 subscribers. We're inching closer and closer to 2,000. I'm hyped. I'm excited. Again, thank you guys. I love you. You're awesome. As always, I'm Sick Goat. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Welcome to my house.